in the place for mathematics and science. Dear students, in the last class, we were discussing the chapter acids, bases, and salts. So let's go for continuing this. And the last concept that we had discussed in this chapter was it was about to, to know about the strength of an acid or base. How do you go for deciding the strength of an acid or base? By knowing the amount of hydrogen ion concentration that is present in the acid when it is dissolved in water. Amount of hydroxide ion concentration when the base is dissolved in the water. Then how do you come to know the <clears throat> concentration of hydrogen ions or hydroxide ions by using a measuring scale we call that scale as pH scale so pH scale it is a measuring scale used to know the strength of an acid or base through hydrogen ion concentration or hydroxide ion concentration <clears throat> and pH it is to be written like this P it should be small and H, it should be capital, capital letter. And the full form of pH is, it is power of hydrogen ion concentration. Power of hydrogen ion concentration. And the, the letter P has been taken from the German word called potence. And what is the meaning of potence? It is power. And we also know that the diagram of the pH scale, where we can come to know hydrogen ion concentration as well as hydroxide ion concentration. Just to, uh, briefly, I uh, explain that one. It is a pH scale. In that, the numbers will be there. What is the range of pH scale? It is 0 to 14. Here are right. This is 0 and is 14. The middle number is, it is seven. And then we will draw the diagram from bottom of left corner to top of right corner of this rectangle. What does the upper part indicate? It is hydrogen ion concentration, H plus. Sir, unmute radio, unmute radio. Yes. It is hydroxide ion concentration, OH minus ion concentration. Then we also know that in case of hydrogen ion concentration, as the pH value, as the pH value increases, hydrogen ion concentration decreases. Then the acidic property of the acid or the compound, it decreases, right? Are you following? Now, you tell that this is, what do you say about hydrogen ion concentration? Whether as we move from left to right, whether it increases or decreases? Increases. It decreases. pH increases. Here I'm, here I'm writing. Increasing, increasing pH, and here it is decreasing pH. Dec no, 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 decreasing hydrogen ion concentration. As hydrogen ion concentration decreases, the acidic nature of the compound increases or decreases. Acidic nature decreases, decreasing. Decreasing acidic nature. Are you following? Following? Then what is the relationship between hydrogen ion concentration and pH? What will be the hydrogen ion concentration as the pH increases? Hydrogen ion concentration decreases. As pH decreases, as the pH lowers, then hydrogen ion concentration increases. Increases. In case, one quantity, as one quantity increases, other quantity decreases, and vice versa.
then the relationship between pH and hydrogen ion concentration can be written as they are inversely proportional to each other, right? Here I'll write it is hydrogen ion concentration is inversely proportional to pH can be written like this. Similar, come across the pH values from 7 to 14. It is <clears throat> pH value is increasing or decreasing? Increasing. pH value increasing. So here increasing. Also, again, I'm writing increasing pH. As the pH value increases, what about hydrogen ion concentration? Decreases. 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 Other put a just here failure. You can write increasing OH, OH minus ion concentration. <clears throat> then, what is the basic nature of the compound as the in, as the hydroxide ion concentration increases? But as pH increases, basic character increases. Increases. So you can write it is increasing basic nature of the compound. Now you can uh, and just uh, once we shall recall that as the pH increases, hydroxide ion concentration also increases. As the pH decreases, hydrogen ion, uh, hydroxide ion concentration decreases, right? Then how do you relate them? They are directly proportional to each other. So now I can write it as OH minus nothing but hydroxide ion concentration is directly proportional to pH. Once I write, it is as pH increases, hydroxide ion concentration increases so that basic nature of the compound increases. As the pH decreases, hydroxide ion concentration decreases. Then basic nature of the compound also decreases. Huh? Then move towards your time. Is it okay now? Coming to this as well, in with respect to hydrogen ion concentration, as the pH increases, hydrogen ion concentration decreases. Then acidic nature decreases, right? Next, as the pH decreases, hydrogen ion concentration increases, acidic nature also increases. Got it? And now let me go for taking some of the compounds having the pH value and make these compounds as A, B, C, D, E, F, I, G. Let me write the pH value. It is 5.6. Then this is 7.4. It is 2.5. This is 11. It is 10. This is 3.5. And is 1. The simple question is, among these seven compounds, you have to identify which are acidic in nature. Below seven are acidic in nature. Below seven, yes. what are those? F and G, sir. Yes, C, F and G, sir. C, C, F and G. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Here I'll write two more points. Just observe. And the pH increases, hydrogen ion concentration decreases, acidic nature also decreases, right? As the pH value decreases, hydrogen ion concentration increases, acidic nature also increases. increases. Then we can say that the pH of acids, it is less than seven, right? Yeah, right. For acid, pH value will be less than seven. Then as the pH increases, hydroxide ion concentration increases. 
So basic nature increases. So it will always be more than seven. seven. So for base, pH will be more than seven. If it is exactly seven, we say that it is neutral. neutral. If it is neutral compound, its pH value will be equal to seven. Now, among these seven compounds, which are acidic in nature, less than seven, they are A, C, and F, F and G. G, whose pH value is less than seven. Therefore, you can say that these are acids. And which compounds are basic in nature? The rest. One is B. Next one is D. And another one is B. E. Whose pH value is more than 7. You can say that these are the bases. So note. Now come across the acids. A, C, F, and G are acids. Among these, which is strong acid, G. G. Yes, sir. G. G. Yes, sir. H is 5.6. C is 2.5. F is 3.5. G is 1. Which is strong acid? G. Yes, sir. Because its pH value is least. One. pH value One. then hydrogen ion concentration is maximum. Four. So we can say that G is Strong acid. Then which is weak acid? A. A. Which is A. yes. A sir. Yeah. A. A sir. Weak acid. Similar. Then come across the basis, which is strong base. Are you on the pH? E. D sir. E sir. D. D. D, sir. 11, 10, 7.4. 11. 11. It is, D. It is strong base. Next. Weak base? B. 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 Just 7.4. It is weak base. Clear up? Hmm? Yes. Uh, I think yesterday I had written about the pH scale, right? I had drawn now. And you know that. Have you written this one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Neutral compound. That was over. And below that, you write the side at Relationship between relationship between pH and pH and hydrogen and the hydroxide ion concentration. Just write H plus OH minus. Relationship between pH and H plus and OH minus. You write this. Hydrogen ion concentration is inversely proportional to pH. Then below that, hydroxide ion concentration is directly proportional to pH. Now you tell another point. If the pH is pH decreases, what will be the acidic nature? Decreases. Increases. Acidic nature increases. So write on that. Lower the pH. Lower the pH. Stronger will be the acid. Stronger than acid or acidic nature. Another one. 
higher the pH, what will be the base? Increase us, basic nature. Here, higher the pH. Stronger will be the base. Stronger the base or basic nature. Is over, then just you know that you know what you write. You know it. You know it. Right. The pH of pH of the compounds. A, you can write, it is 7.5, B, 3.5, C, 1, D, it is 7, E, it is 5.5, F, 11, G, it is 10.5. And H, let us write, it is 4.5. In this, uh, just beside this only, you can write, strong acid, weak acid, then strong base, as well as weak base. Yes, exactly. Which is the strong acid is C, sir. C. Strong acid under the C. lowest pH value. It is one and it is of the compound called C. So let us write C. Weak acid. E. It should be less than seven and the highest number. E, sir. E, sir. It is E, 5.5. Which is E. Strong base. F. Highest pH value, more than seven. F, sir. F. F, sir. Is 10.5 and 11. It is F. Next, weak base. A, sir. A. It okay. is A. It should be more than seven. And the least number. It is A. Next. Just below this, <clears throat> increasing order of increasing order of H plus ions. Again, increasing order of H plus ion. First, you identify the acids. The acids are B, C. E and H. H. E, H, E, C. Increasing order of hydrogen ion concentration. E, H, B, C. Arrange from lowest to highest. Then pH. We know that higher the pH, lower will be the hydrogen ion concentration. What is the higher the pH? Dado. One. 5.5, 5, 5, 5, 4, 5, 5. Next to that. H. H, 4.5. Next to that. B. 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 It is B. Next. C. C. Increasing order of hydrogen ion concentration. It is nothing but decreasing order of pH. Next one. Increasing order of hydroxide ion concentration. A, sir. F, sir. Yes. And higher the pH value, then stronger will be the base. Or even hydroxide ion concentration will be increasing. A. A, sir. Or greater, more than 7. F, G, A, D. A. 
that's it. Seven point five. That is B. Next to that. G. G. Ten point five. Next and to that. And F level. Yeah. Which among these is neither acidic nor basic? B. It is B. It B. is equal to seven. Its pH is seven. Okay. Have you copied? Have you copied? Okay. Next. And even we have got the information about the universal indicator, right? It is a mixture of many indicators which shows different colors at different pH values. And you have written the pH, only few pH values, right? One strong acid, one strong base, and neutral. Now I'm going to give you the color code with respect to the numbers from 0 to 40. Followed, uh, once I tell you, universal indicator. It, the definition of it is a mixture of many indicator, a mixture of many indicators which gives different color or which shows different colors at different pH values of the compound. This is universal indicator and let me write the color code. And before that, once you write its definition, right? Universal indicator, universal indicator, right? Once you write, I'm sure of which are many indicators, indicators which show different colors, different colors at different pH values on the scale is called <coughs> universal indicator is called universal indicator color code you just <coughs> go for writing the numbers from 0 to 14 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let me give you the color. If it is 0, it is dark red. Dark red. If it is one, just red. red. If it is two, with Orange. light red. If the pH is three, it is Orange red. Orange red. Orange red. And if it is four, it is this is just orange color. If it is five, orange and yellow. Orange and yellow. Orange and yellow. Then six, it is greenish and yellow. Greenish and yellow. If it is seven, it is green. It is green. And if it is eight, this is greenish blue. Greenish blue. If it is nine, it is just blue color. Ten, 
it is navy blue. Naval. Purple. Purple color. Then dark purple. Color. It is dark purple. Dark purple. And 30, it is violet color. And if it is 40, dark violet. In this, just I'll give you only the important one to be remembered. It is zero and one. Next, four. Next, seven. Next, nine. Then do remember this the pH values 30 and 40. Those colors are violet and dark violet respectively. Over up. Have you written? And we have one more information that we have pH values of some of the substances. And I'm going to give you the most important, uh, important pH of some substances. Right on the side in here. Side in it is. pH of important substances. pH of important substances. They are first one is it is lemon juice. Lemon juice. Its pH value is 2.5. 2.5. Second one, gastric juice. Gastric juice. It is 1.2. 1 its pH is 1.5. Third one, sodium hydroxide solution, NaOH solution, concentrated sodium hydroxide solution, it is exactly 14, 4, and one of the antacid which contains magnesium, which is that? Milk of magnesium. Magnesium hydroxide, milk of magnesium. So its pH is, it is 10. Milk of magnesium, that is MgOH twice. It is exactly 10. That's pure water. Pure water. How much it should be? Why it is seven? It is neutral. Neutral. Uh, basic. Basic. So which is as pure water is free from salts and salt. It is neutral. We can write seven. And six one. Saliva before me. In that time, its pH will be 7.4. Whether acidic in nature or basic in nature. Saliva before the basic. Basic. It is basic in nature. And last one. Saliva after the meal. After meal. It is 
5.8 acidic in nature acidic. acidic in nature because whatever the food we take in that sugar content will be there and this sugar content are to be converted into acid by the bacteria which are present in our mouth ora next we have actually importance of ph even it includes salt also so that now we will discuss about the salts <clears throat> so let's repeat listen we have already got the basic information about a salt we know that salt is a chemical compound which is formed by the two compounds one is acid second one is base then what do you call acid and bases with respect to the salt hmm anions and cations hmm acids and bases ions that are present in the salt can be considered as anion as well as cation nishka nishka yes could you tell what do you call the acids and bases from which the salts are formed anions and cations anions and again repeated i have been telling you telling you that ions present in the salt when they are dissolved in water are anions as well as cations but my question is what do you call the acids and bases with respect to salts as the salts are formed from these these are the parents parents of the salt parents just listen to me don't go for writing anything if i go for taking the salt call yes name the salt sodium chloride sodium chloride sodium chloride tell their parents sodium and chlorine sodium and chloride the acids and acid sodium hydroxide and uh, sodium chloride form hydrochloric acid sodium sodium, sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid it's here Basis sodium hydroxide OH sodium right so these two are called the parents of sodium chloride if I go for taking another one which is uh, name this compound CH three CO H acidic acid acidic acid acidic acid then just observe. Now you tell them. Sodium acetate. Sodium acetate. Sodium acetate. Whether it is acid, base, or salt. Salt. It is a salt. Salt. Tell the acid and bases from which the salt acetic. is formed. Acetic acid acetic and, acid and acid sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Yeah. Base is sodium hydroxide. Acid. Acetic acid. Acetic acid. That is CH three COOH. Another one. NH four. What it is? Ammonia. 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 Bromide. Ammonia. Bromide. Bromide. Name the acid from which this is formed. Hmm. Here. It is H B R. Ammonium hydroxide. Then bromide. Then acid. Sorry, base. Ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide. N H four O H. Is there any other thing? N H four C N. That is ammonium chloride. Ammonium hydroxide and H. Ammonium hydroxide and uh, hydrochloric acid. Yes. The base is ammonium hydroxide and acid is hydrochloric acid. Look, 
Look here. Usually, the acids uh, which are formed from the acid form bases, while naming, we will consider they, the uh, we will consider the acid from which the salt is formed. Like if it is HCl, and we call we are, we will also call this as it is chloride salt. If it is H2SO4, it is sulfate salt. Is it correct? No. Non acid was to salt in the You simply you are hearing that. HCl, which is responsible for forming the salts like it is maybe NaCl, then KCl, MgCl, right? MgCl2. MgCl2, magnesium chloride. Look at And these salts are called chloride salts. Chloride salts. And these salts are formed from the acid called HCl. Then if it is the salt is formed from one of the acids like H2SO4. You may take some examples. Na2SO4. Next. Magnesium sulfate. SO4. Mg. SO4, right? Then K2SO4. These are called sulfate salts, got it? Similarly, as you all know that when the salts are dissolved in water, they get dissociated into the respective ions. If I take an example of copper sulfate, when it is dissolved in water. CO2 plus uh, SO4 2 minus. Yes, you're right, it is. CO2 plus and SO4, 2 minus. These are the ions that are formed. So, helium, can we say that the, scum, the salts contain the ions? Yes, sir. Or no? Of course, they, yes, sir. they contain the ions, but they get dissociated, they get separated if and only if when they are dissolved in water. And can we say that salts are ionic compounds? Can we consider the salts as ionic compounds? Yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. This is the second important point. All the salts are ionic compounds as they contain ions. And we can come to know those ions by dissolving the respective salts in the water. Next, I go for writing some more salts. Just observe. Here, copper sulfate, CuSO4. Then I'll take magnesium sulfate. Can you tell? Can you come forward? MgSO4. Aluminium sulfate. Eight. 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 In CuSO4, Cu2 plus is called cation. And SO4 2 minus is called anion. Here I have taken a group of salts. In this group, you can observe that there is one common ion, which is that cation or anion. 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 Sulfur oxide. Sulfur. Sulfate, sulfate. 
This ion is present in all the salts. So such group of salts containing the same ion, the group is known as today. Yes. Family is. of salt. Family of salt. It belongs to which family? Hmm? Sulfate. Sulfate family. Sulfate. Sulfate family. Right? The ion which is present in all these salts, it is sulfate. The common ion is sulfate. Therefore, these are called family of sulfate salts. Artaita. In the same way, uh, let me go for taking another one. It is MgCl. Name this compound. Magnesium chloride. Magnesium chloride. Whether formula is correct? MgCl2, sir. MgCl. All right. MgSO4. Magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate. Name the compound which is formed from salt which is formed from magnesium hydroxide MgOH twice plus HNO. Magnesium nitrate. Magnesium nitrate. Yeah. Nitrate. Tell them. Chemical formula. MgNO3 MG twice. twice. MgNO3. NO3 twice. The compound or the salt which is formed by magnesium hydroxide and acetic acid. Magnesium acetate. Magnesium acetate. It is chemical formula. CH3MG. MG. Twice MG. Right? Or you can also write it as. Mg CH3 CO twice. And here also we have a group of salt in which uh, ion is present, which is that? Magnesium. 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 Cation or anion? Cation. Cation. Magnesium ion. So this is this group which contains the same ion. That is same cation. Magnesium. Therefore, this group is known as family of cation salts, nothing but magnesium salts. It is also a family of salts. Family of salt, that salt is magnesium. magnesium. Family of magnesium salt. And this is family of sulfate salts. Again, now we'll come across the pH of these salts. And before that, just write about the salt. Write up, side heading. Side heading. Salts. Salt. With respect to the salt, first you write about the electric Right. In that subheading. Parents of salts. Parents of salt. Yes, could you tell? Which are called which compounds are called parents of salts? Acid and bases. Acid and bases. Basis, right. Acids and bases from which salts are formed. Salts are formed. Therefore, acids and bases are called. Bases are called. Parents of salt. Now, 
Let us take few examples. Start writing. One point. In a CL. The parents of NACL. Indonium hydroxide and hydroxide plus fluoride. NACL. Next. Ammonium chloride. Ammonium hydroxide and HCL. Ammonium hydroxide, NH4OH and HCL. MgSO4. Magnesium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. MgOH twice and sulfuric acid, H2SO4. PH3, COO, NA. It is sodium acetate. Sodium hydroxide and acetic acid. Sodium hydroxide and acetic acid. Sodium hydroxide, NaOH, and acetic acid is CH3, COOH. A N O three twice. Sorry, twice. Name this Aluminium form. hydroxide and uh, nitric acid. Yes. Aluminium and nitrate. nitrate. The name of the salt is aluminium nitrate, and the acid and bases from which this salt is formed are <clears throat> base is aluminium hydroxide, acid is how about nitric acid. ALOH thrice and nitric acid HNO3. And we also know that salts are ionic compounds, right? Now let us write the ions that are present in some of the salts. Right, next one. Salts are salts are ionic compounds. Ionic compounds as they contain ions. Now here again I'll write some salts. You have to write the ions that are present in. Uh, those salts. Here, I'll write the examples direct. Same one. NaCl, the ions present in the salt. Na1 plus Cl1 minus. Na plus and Cl minus. Then, Ammonium chloride, NH4Cl, the ions that are present are NH4 NH4 plus Cl minus. Next, magnesium sulfate, MgSO4. Wait, wait, nobody should tell. Vikas, you tell. Ions present. What are those? Mg two plus and and I need yes four four two minus two minus. Three H three C O O N A. Name the ions that are present. Na plus and CH3 COO minus. Please sit down. Aluminium nitrate, ALNO3. Thrive, Drupadesh. Name the ions. One is AL3 plus and another one is NO3. Minus. 
Tata and is AN3 plus and Ana and is NO3 minus. Please sit down. And could you tell me aluminum acetate? Chemical formula of the salt called aluminum acetate. ALCH3COO3. Yes. AN CH3 COO thrice. Of course, CH3 COO thrice air. No problem. And the elements present in it are AN and CH3 COO minus. Chandra, have you got it? Chandra, on the Lord. Okay. Who will be care? Nishka. Sudarshan, Prajwal, Palati, Rahul, Palati, Ventesh, Siddharth. Okay. These are the ions present. Next. Uh, we have one more information regarding the family of salt. Right. Point is about family of salt. Right. Family of salt. And for this, you may put double star. Write the definition of this. Family of salt. Right. How do you define a group of salt having the same cation or an ion? Then it is called family of salt. Right now. A group of salts. Group of salts. Having, having same positive ion, positive ion means cations or negative ions, negative ions, in bracket you may write anions, a group of salts having the same Cations or anions is called is called a family of salts. A family of salts. Example. Here I'm going. Chloride salts. Family of chloride salts. Let us write them here anyway. Bring up. NaCl. MgCl2. KCl. KCl. NH4Cl. Ammonium chloride. BaCl2. BaCl2. Barium chloride. PbCl2. Lead chloride. MgCl2. FeCl2. Iron chloride. Iron. NaCl2. Aluminium chloride. PaCl2. Calcium chloride. AlCl3. Aluminium chloride. Etc. And in metals, what is it? Easy. Easy. Very good. These are chloride salts. I'll take one more example. Sulfate salts and bread. Right. Sulfate salt. Sulfate salts. Sodium sulfate. Na2 is the Sodium sulfate, as you said. Na SO4. Na2 is the sulfate. Aluminium sulfate. Aluminium sulfate. Al2SO4. 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 Al
Here on right. We want magnesium salts. Magnesium salts. Get it. Magnesium nitrate. Why? Sir, MgCH three CO O twice. Sir. These are few examples for family of magnesium salts. Hold on. Okay, now we are going to the next concept of this chapter. Again, regarding salts only, we all know that salts are formed by the reaction between an acid and base. We are also very familiar with the strong acids as well as strong bases, weak acids, weak bases. Now, let me go for writing. One of the acid, you have to tell whether it is strong or weak. It is most familiar one. Strong. Strong acid. Strong acid. It is a strong acid. Then I'll write NaOH is a base, whether it is strong base or weak base. Strong base. Strong base. Strong base. Strong base. When they react with each other, they form NaCl and water. water. Okay. water. NaCl. Then water. Okay. NaCl is salt. a salt which is formed by the reaction between a strong acid and a strong base. Followed. Next. I'll write one more. It is HCl. Strong acid or weak strong acid? Strong acid. 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 Ammonium hydroxide. Strong base or weak base? It is a weak base. Weak base. Name the compound which is formed. Ammonium sulfate. Ammonium sulfate. NH4SO4 twice. NH4SO4 twice. Right? Plus water. Okay. Next. Next. Okay. Next. Okay. Next. Okay. Next. 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 Strong acid. Strong base. Strong base. Strong base. Next I'll take. H2CO3. Name this compound. Carbonic acid. Carbonic acid. Weak 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 acid.
Could you tell the salt which is formed? NaTOCO3, sodium carbonate. It replaces the the acid. So we'll get NaTOCO3 plus sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate. Then water is common. So sodium carbonate, this salt is formed by weak acid. Strong base. Strong base. Strong base. Produces the salt. Ammonium. Sodium carbonate. Next. H2CO3. It is a weak carbonic acid. Weak acid. Weak acid. Weak acid. Ammonium hydroxide. Weak base. 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 Tell the company. Ammonium carbonate. NH4. 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 Can react with weak base. Strong acid reacts with weak base. Then strong weak acid can react with strong base. But in all these cases, the salts are formed. The salt which is formed by a strong acid and a strong base, it is called. It is called neutral salt. Neutral salt. A salt which is formed by the reaction between a strong acid and a strong base is called neutral salt. What is its pH value? Seven. pH seven. is equal to seven. seven. And second one. Okay. Strong acid reacts with weak base to produce a salt. And we call this salt, that is acidic salt. salt. Acidic salt. Strong acidic acidic salt. As it is, acid is strong. We call that salt as acidic salt. Acidic salt. And its pH will be less than seven. Less than seven. And third one, this is the salt which is formed by weak acid and a strong base. Basic salt. 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 pH is greater than seven. pH is greater than seven. More than seven. A salt which is formed by weak acid and weak base. Neutral. Neutral. Is again. Neutral salt. Neutral salt. pH is equal to seven. Equal to seven. pH is seven. Andre, in earlier we used to think that. Salts are neutral compounds because they are formed from acids and bases. But when we go in depth in that, we will come to know that even in salts also, we have different types. We have acidic salt, we have basic salt, basic salt. we have plus neutral salts. It all depends on acids and bases. It all depends on the strength of the acid and base from which salts are formed. Got it? So now you write about pH of salts. pH of salts. Right. pH of salts. Just below that, you write. That is, pH of a salt will decide the chemical nature of the salt. Means whether it will give us information about whether it is acidic salt, basic salt, or neutral salt. <clears throat> pH of a salt, pH of a 
salt describes describes the chemical nature of the salt chemical nature of the salt full stop they are they are one is first one yado neutral salt ko bolta right first one neutral salt how is this form it is formed by formation of the salt with acid base form with acid base or weak acid and weak base definition you put here that the salt which is formed by the reaction between a strong acid and a strong base or weak acid and a weak base is called neutral salt is it necessary to write gotha gotala you just bracket the word for instance bracket to be right strong acid strong acid plus strong or weak acid plus weak base example for for five Example. Give an example for us. Sorry, neutral salt. NaCl. Next. Can we write Na2SO4? Very good. Can we write so? Yes. It is possible. Possible because yes, the salt is formed from the strong acid called H two SO four and sodium. Sodium hydroxide. Base called sodium hydroxide. Base here K two SO four, right? MgCl2 will come. MgSO4. Then write that one also. Yeah. Uh, let us take one of the strong acid called H H N O3, nitric acid. Strong base N A O H. Salt which is formed? Sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate. Chemical formula. NaNO3. NaNO3. Weak acid and weak base. One example was was given. What is that? Carbonic acid and. Hmm. Uh, uh, ammonium. Ammonium hydroxide. क्या होता है? Ammonium. Carbonate. Carbonate. NH4 twice CO2. I'll take the weak acid as CH3COOH. Weak base as ammonium hydroxide. Okay, compound which is formed. Ammonium acetate. acetate. Chemical formula. C3COOH. NH4. Neutral salt. Next, you write acidic salt. Second one, acidic salt. This acidic salt is formed from strong acid, strong acid, strong acid. weak base. Let us write a few examples. Yes, Suchit, Arya, Yella, Firdos, Sneha, Yati. Could you give examples? 
strong acid and weak base together form an acidic salt. Yeah. HCl is a strong acid. Only chloride is Then H2SO4, strong acid. Sulfates are there. Sulfate is there. Then HNO3, nitric acid is there. Nitrate. Right? Nitrate. Then give such examples. Ammonium chloride. Hmm. Strong acid and weak base. It's here. HNO3, H2, SO4. Weak acid strong. NH4, OH, BA, OH twice, CA, OH twice. Stop right. Okay. The salt which is formed from HCl and NH4OH. NH4 Next, HCl and BaOH twice. Barium chloride. HCl and CaOH twice. Calcium chloride. Next, HNO3 and NH4OH. Ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate. Barium nitrate. Barium nitrate. Calcium nitrate. Nitrate. Calcium, calcium nitrate. Calcium nitrate. Ammonium sulfate. Barium sulfate. Calcium 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 sulfate. NH4, NO3, then barium nitrate, BaNO3, twice, then calcium nitrate, Ca, NO3, twice. Next, ammonium sulfate, NH4, twice, SO4, then barium sulfate, Ba, SO4, then calcium sulfate, it is Ca, SO4. Next, third one, basic salts, basic salts, how these salts are formed? Yes, we can get a strong base, we can get a strong base, we can get a strong base, all right, reaction between strong base and weak acid, weak acid plus strong base, which is equal to Basic salt. The weak acid in the particle. Just have you written that? Look, weak acid salt. Carbonic acid. CH3 COO H. H2. H2. PO3. All organic acids are in the top of And strong base. NaOH. KOH. This is third. Now tell the possible salts that are formed. Sodium acetate. Sodium acetate. Next. Potassium acetate. Sodium. Sodium carbonate. Potassium carbonate. Potassium carbonate. Carbonate. Right. Exact. Sodium acetate. CH3. COO. NA. Next. CH3, COO, K. 
potassium acetate. Right. Na two CO sodium carbon. Then K two CO potassium carbonate. Ora. So it's about different types of salts. And next we have an information about one of the very important salt which is formed from the strong acid and strong base. That is HCl and NaOH. Which salt is formed? NaCl. 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 More about NaCl because it is one of the salt which is which is abundantly used, one thing. And its uses are also many. Not only that, even this salt can be used for preparing many chemicals. So now we shall discuss about a salt called sodium chloride. Don't write anything. Just try to observe the information what I'm going to give you. I'll go for taking a neutral salt. The neutral salt, it is sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. And could you tell what is it, sir? Chemical formula? NaCl. NaCl. What is its common name? Common salt. Common salt. Common salt. Common salt. What is its commercial name? Hmm? Sodium chloride. Sodium. You go to the shop and whether you go for asking, give salt. one pack of sodium, sodium. sodium chloride at the chair. Salt. 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 Alva, salt is a commercial name of sodium chloride. And do you know what it is called? What is the other name we have given for sodium chloride? What is its color? It is white in color. Right. Then it is also called. It is also called white, white salt. White salt. White, white gold. White gold at the curriculum. Then, what about this availability in Sigutigo? Coastal areas. In sea water. In sea water, sir. Sea water. Sea water. The sources from which the salt, sodium chloride, can be extracted are one is from sea water. When sea water is get evaporated, then we get a solid substance that is called sodium chloride. It is obtained from seawater by a process called evaporation or vaporization. Is there any difference between evaporation and vaporization? Any difference there? Evaporation, it takes place without the liquid reaching its boiling point. In spite of that, you can observe the vapors. Whether it, whether it, will it be boiling? But when we'll be preparing the tea, the liquid start boiling. And it gets converted into vaporization. Okay. So the common salt is obtained from the sea water by a process called Shokumar Kesi. Shokumar Kesi. Shokumar Kesi, what do you want? Sir, continue. It is available as a big rocks. The earth crust. And we call such salts as 
crystal salt rock salt rock salt you know what will be its color black reddish reddish red sir red reddish brown sir you know sea water in the ensigo and that is white in color only but rock salt it will brown in color and this is to be extracted from a process called mining 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 process in the rock salt ne extract madkondu from that we will get the sodium chloride then it is from the process called evaporation now oh. what happens when salt is dissolved in water it dissociates into it is split into well, as you go on adding more amount of salt what will be its concentration increases or decreases increases sir increases 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 as soon as that you have prepared a salt solution after preparing also just you go for adding few more amount of salt then the soluble increases the density of water increases density of water increases so then what is there about its concentration whether it is highly concentrated solution or no highly, concentrated highly, highly concentrated highly concentrated what is called such concentrated solution of sodium chloride concentrated sodium chloride solution right hey nanne rampi kaleshwar rampi kaleshwar शिव कुमार केसी कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सोल्यूशन ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड इज कॉल्ड ब्राइन बी आर आई एन ई वेन वी आर यूजिंग द वर्ड ब्राइन इट इज अंडरस्टूड दैट इट इज कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सोडियम क्लोराइड दट मीन इट इज प्रिपेर बाय using very good amount of sodium chloride then what <coughs> para which is equal to bright this bright solution is used for preparing many chemicals among them one is sodium hydroxide and nantra we will discuss about this right could you tell the most common Use a salt. This common salt. Preparation of food. Ah huh? yes. In most of the food items, we'll go for salt for taste purpose, right? Then it is used in food items. Then other than that, it is used for preparing the pickles, right? Then it is also used for keeping the meat fresh. Mansa, that is no fresh egg. It is okay. Even they go for applying the salt. Then it is used for preparing some of the chemicals. It is used for preparing the chemicals. for cleaning vegetables. Huh? Cleaning vegetables. Uh, for cleaning vegetables. Correct. For cleaning vegetables, also we'll go for using the salt solution. So these are few uses of salt. the salt now we will go for focusing on the chemicals which are obtained from the salt or how do you how do we go for using this <clears throat> common salt for preparing the chemicals now let me give you that information and before that write about it side d side d common salt side d common salt common salt put down star mark and write first write it point wise chemical name what is its chemical name <coughs> sodium chloride sodium chloride then chemical formula chemical formula is tell that 
It is. Then, commercial name. Commercial name. Tell them. It is just Tom. Then, we also know that it is an ionic compound. Name the ions present in it. Ions are. Na plus Cl minus. Na plus I. Cl minus. And we also know that it is acidic salt, neutral salt, or basic salt. It is a neutral salt. salt. It is a neutral salt. Then what is its pH? Equal to seven. 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 Name the acid and base from which it is formed. Sodium hydroxide. Written up. Then its availability and all will be discussed in tomorrow's class. In tomorrow's class, we have an important information regarding the different types of salts which are formed from sodium chloride. And one more information uh, regarding science test. <clears throat> Some students they will be having the school even in the evening as well. I thought to go for 6 to 7.30. And it's all for the chain martyr. Today, it may not be possible. Sorry. Uh, it is not possible even tomorrow also. So Wednesday, Wednesday, uh, we'll conduct science periodical test. And timings, I'll give you that in the group one. So with this, let us stop the class. Thank you very much. Bye, Thank sir. You, sir. Bye, okay, sir. Bye.